let's suppose we create a Google form, okay, where we are asking customer to share the inquiry with us. Customer inquiry form. Now here we are asking customer to share the name, okay. Then we are asking customer to tell us their email address. Then we are asking customer to give us the contact number. Then we are asking customer to, you know, choose which category of products are you interested to buy, right? And then here, like, then we can add a couple of more questions here. So, needs Okay, then place of delivery, right? Great. So imagine you have created this customer inquiry form and you share it with client. So you know how to share it. You click on send. You either share it by email or share by link or no, just no, just add it on the website. Okay. So when you share with client, client just wonders that you know how many times I've given the order to this company, but every time I will have to fill my name or email address or contact number. Why can't like they fetch it from uh, the database that they have of mine? Now, if the customer is brand new, then that's a different case. But if it is your regular customer, do you want customer to fill few things again and again, again and again, like name, email address, contact number? Now you're like saying, okay, well, wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that when we will share this form with the client, these things will be pre-filled? Yes, it will be pre-filled. So let me just take things in detail, okay? So here you see, we have created this form and uh, here, when you click on this option called more, when you click on this, it gives you this option called get a pre-filled link. Okay, so when I click on get a pre-filled link, here it says pre-filled responses uh, and then click get link. So firstly fill some responses and then click on the get link. So instead of submit, it is showing us the get link. So here, for example, I am writing customer name, right? Then I am writing the customer email. Then I am writing the contact number here and then I'm choosing the product or instead of this, if I just actually write any name number. And then here I can actually choose the place, right? And I can click on get link. Okay. So when I click on get link, it says, uh, share this link, copy this link. So I've copied this link. Now, if I just share this link with, uh, my client, when client opens the form, they will have all this data already pre-filled, including the name, including the email address, including the contact number, including the place of delivery. If I just do not use this, okay. And if I do not choose these as well, and if I just want to get a link with a uh, few things filled like name, email address, contact number. So I can then just click on this, get link. I can copy this and I can share with client. And then client will have their name, email address, contact number filled, and then they can choose what product they want to take and they can click and submit, right? But now you're saying that, okay, well, all this is good, but here, do we need to enter the data for each and every client, uh, like filling their name and email address and then click get on get link, click on get link and share with uh, the client. Can't this form pick up the data from the Google sheet itself? Right? So like this name we filled, cable, email address we filled. But if we have the list of our customers, their name, their email address, their contact number, can't this Google form automatically pick up the data from that? It can pick. And that is what I'm going to cover. Okay. So first thing which I wanted to cover was to make you understand on how get pre-filled link works. And I've shared with you, right? So you click on this. And when you click on this, this is where whatever you fill, okay, when you click on get link, the link that you get will actually be pre-filled like this, right? So what you saw right now is that we have done one data entry and 
we have got one response and if i just open this it is customer inquiry form okay customer inquiries so you know these customers can be the regular customers as well which keep placing the orders to you right so here you see at the bottom we have the form responses which are coming up right but imagine if you have a few customers already with you right and those customers just drop your whatsapp or those customers call you that i want to place an order okay so please share the form with me so for example here if we talk about customers these are our uh, unique customers these are customer masters okay this is a customer master this is the list of customers that we have so it includes name then it can include email it can include phone number it include the city they are from and maybe you can include the gst number and couple of other things we can add here for example i am adding few customers ramesh ramesh suresh kevul just get ready because your mind is just going to boom blown away with this and this can be mumbai now this data which we are seeing right now unique customers you can have a different form for this which can be your customer onboarding form why you should have a different customer onboarding form that's something you can go to one of my lessons which is called data masters where i'm explaining then that to automate your processes firstly you need to organize your existing data so whatever your current customers have they should be in one sheet and that will be called customer master your all employees with their unique details should be in the employee master then you should have a vendor master you should have item master right and these masters you can connect with the form as well so whenever you onboard a new customer you firstly take their those details which are actually required for you uh from their side like their gst details their location etc and then when they place an order that's an order generation form that's not a customer onboarding form can you what i'm saying so these two things are different to if you want to have your customer onboarding form or your employee onboarding form check out my lesson which is called data masters that's where you will get so here i am assuming that this is your data masters which is connected to the form so whenever you onboard a new customer you just fill the data here right and this is where you get the gst details as well and this is where you can uh, write order link order link yes so this will be unique link for them whenever cable want to place an order you will pick up the link from here and you will share with the client how to do this let's check it out okay so this was our customer inquiry form right so let me just write a sample here cable or or maybe just right me okay email contact and i can just leave it blank and city and i click on get link so this is my unique link for customer order form inquiry form where this name email address and all these things are here but imagine if all these things name email address everything if we can have it just pre filled automatically from these columns Will that be crazy? Will that be awesome? Will that be magical? Now, what we will do here? Just focus now. Okay, let me just increase the uh, increase the size of the screen. So here we will use a formula called hyperlink. Although I'm, you know, in, uh, now have started covering the Google Sheet as well. We have a separate Google Sheet topic. Detail. We are going to Google Sheet, but right now just to cover this topic, I had to. Uh, open the guns for Google Sheet as well. So we are using a formula called hyperlink. What is a formula? A formula is you know something which gives you the answer, uh, which just uh, gives you an output. So to you know apply any formula, you start with equal to, right? So when you write equal to, you get a list of formulas like equal to sum, equal to average. So the same way we are using a formula called hyperlink. Now when you open hyperlink, when you click on this beautiful question mark, it says that write URL. So okay, I'll Put inverted comma, not single quote, not double quote, inverted comma. Okay, and then I will copy paste 
the link which I had copied from here, right? But uh, do not copy paste the link which is not pre-filled. So if you want to copy paste the link, make sure you have filled the entries which you want to get pre-filled, right? Because uh, that's that's important. So I close this uh, URL by inverted comma and then I press comma. And then again, I write here uh, order form or maybe get, get an order, right? I just close it and guess what? It has created an hyperlink. But when I click on this, when I open this, it has the entries like name, email address. It's not connected with this. Wait, wait, we will come to that as well. But good news, you have learned on how to create the hyperlink, right? So what we have done is we have written a formula called hyperlink. And in that we have copy pasted the URL that we had, you know, the link of the form uh, from this, right? By clicking on uh, get the link. Uh, and for all the people who are wondering how to get the link, when you create the form, you go to this mode and you click on the get preview link. That's why you, that's where you get it from, right? When you click on this, it opens this and that's where you click on the get link by filling this. And second, what do you want to show? For example, here we have get an order. Instead of that, you want to write order form. So just comma and after that you write whatever you want to show here. So it can be order form or you can write here test as well, right? Or you can say anything else you can write. So get in order looks great. But now this is where things changes. This is where we go to the next level. Now here you see, if I just open this, if I just open this formula, uh, I just want you to focus here right now. Okay. So you see here, we have this URL, which says the link of the form and then view form. And after view form, we have, you know, other details like name, uh, before entry, it's coming name, before entry, it's coming email and before entry, it's coming contact, right? So all these things which are coming here are actually these things, these, these things are coming there. So what do you need to do is this. You need to cut this, okay? And then you need to put inverted comma, you need to put ampersand, and you need to put this, okay? So put this, uh, you know, the, these ampersands between the inverted comma, and this is where you choose this, A2 as the cell, because we want to pick it from this. The same way, I will go to this, I will close this, I will put inverted comma ampersand. I will pick up the email. I will put the ampersand once again. Right. And I will put the this inverted comma once again. And then I will go to this last entry, which has this contact. So I'll just do this. I'll put inverted comma. Right, and in between, I will choose contact number, and then we have city as well. So, are you ready for it? Are you excited for it? Let's see, and then I'll show you how to replicate it to all these. People. So, if I just click on this, here it is picking up everything. It is picking up the name. It is picking up the email address. It is picking up the contact number. It is picking up the city of the customer as well. And customer has the flexibility to change it. Imagine if customer's office gets changed or place of delivery gets changed, they can change it, right? So here now customer chooses this AC and LED TV and clicks on submit. And guess what? Here in this sheet where we were actually taking the responses from the client to place the order, uh, it's an order taking form, customer inquiries form. Uh, this way, we have got a new entry from Cable. Cable has placed the order of LED TV and ACs, right? Uh, now, can we replicate it? Yes. If you just copy paste this down, it will be replicated to all the customers. So for example, Suresh calls your teammate that, hi, please, uh, I want to place an order, please send me the form. But Suresh does not want to fill everything, right? Uh, so you just open this customer master, you click on this and you copy this link and you share with Suresh. So Suresh opens it and guess what? 
Suresh fills ev gets everything pre-filled, including their name, their email address, their contact number, and their place of the delivery, their city, right? And that's where uh, Suresh can choose the products. He can just submit. And ta-da! We got an order in our customer order form, right? Uh, then next day, Ramesh calls him. Hi, please send me the order form, right? But Ramesh also does not want to waste the time. So which link do you send? You send the, this one, this link, which is a pre-filled link, which is fetching the data from the customer master, right? So all the details which uh, customers have already given you in the past are already coming up here, right? Including the name, email address, contact number, right? So before I actually revise, I want to ask you, how was this? Tell me in the comments. How was this lesson? Was it good? Great. Keep it up, keep learning and keep automating your business, right? So here, let me just quickly revise what we have done. So the first thing which we did was we had a form. We click on get pre-filled link. We open it and that's where we fill things uh, which we want to get link for. When you fill these things, uh, then we click on get link, we get a URL and then we use a formula called hyperlink where we copy paste that URL and then we write the text which we want to present for the form which is get an order and we get this 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 text get an order but when we double click we see that the entry that we had done was coming here manually so what we did we actually uh, instead of that entry we wrote this right m percent m percent so we deleted what was there and we place this uh, inverted comma and then m percent and then m percent and then inverted comma right and in between them we connected we we place the cell which has the data right instead of writing cable manually we connect it with a2 so in a2 whatever it will have the, the form will get so for example in a2 instead of cable let me write uh, anything let me write akshay Okay, so if I open this, then now it will have the details of Akshay, right? It is filling Akshay. So instead of Akshay, if I write, you know, Sanjay, it will have the details of Sanjay, right? So what does it mean? It means that here, the prefilled form, it's getting the data from these cells, A2, B2, and C2, and D2. And once we have copied this, you know, formula downwards, it is actually picking up from the you know below rows which are below so we have made this form dynamic we have made dynamic pre-filled form right now this is something which out of thousand people who know google form 999 people do not know about it and now you know it that's the reason you're special you know this skill and you are going to utilize it to the full potential